What do you think, guys? Should it just continue? I kind of like it. Don't you guys kind of like it? Shout out to my timer. What's going on, everybody? How are we doing tonight? I'm going to turn off this elevator music as soon as possible because I don't really like it. I don't, I don't really like it. How is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully well. Uh, let's see who we have tonight tuning in to the live stream. Who do we have? Who do we have? Hanan. Hello, Hanan. Sophie Fitness. Sophie, 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 and more Sophie. I feel like I'm saying selfie, but I'm not. Fernando Arroyo, my boy. Como estas, amigo? Todo bien? Y tú? Uh, Satan loves coffee. I fucking love your username. Always makes me giggle inside whenever I see it. Um, uniquely yours, Crystal. What's up, Crystal? How are we doing, Crystal? Hope you're doing well. Uh, RR Rex 7 he says he's here with clean balls. I'm glad your balls are clean, sir. Uh, Louvre. Luffy, I can never say your name right. I'm sorry. Um, Rex says his balls have been washed thoroughly. Um, I'm glad your balls have been washed, sir, and that they are clean because it is very important to have clean balls because this ball is certainly clean. Um, Thomas Riley says, I don't get why his balls are clean. I don't either, but I'm glad they are because dirty balls are not fun. I should not continue with this joke anymore. Um, how are we doing, guys? So... Everybody, it is Wednesday night. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying the uh, the week so far. Are making the most of it. Um, it is hump day, I guess you can say. Um, <laughs> Sophie Fitness says no one loves ball sack vinegar. We are just starting this live stream off on a fantastic note, everybody. Um, my boy, world class douchebag, is not here right now, unfortunately. My moderator. I might have to make somebody the new moderator. Is this is this working? Is my, my microphone working well? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. I don't like my hair tonight. Um, yes, it, this is the live stream tank. If you guys aren't aware, um, yeah, this is like the new, well, three weeks every morning this every live stream. Just because I don't like my hair tonight, I'm going to have to do this right now. I'm going to have to do this. Sophia, my girl Sophia, what's up, girl? Um, yeah, so everybody, what is going on? What is going on? What do I want to talk about? You guys will see here in a few minutes because I did title this live stream, What's About to Happen? That belongs on some sort of, um, I feel like I see those types of uh, sayings on these new uh, fitness thumbnails from like Christian Guzman and stuff like that. What's about to happen? What am I doing next? What did I buy? Who did I stalk? Um, I don't know. That was stupid. The beard is looking good. I've been getting a lot of feedback regarding the beard, everybody. It is not actually... This is the longest I've ever grown my facial hair. Longest. So, uh, Lindsey Griffith says, Nothing is happening, WTF. Nothing's happening! Life is happening! Holy fuck! Life is happening. Um, no, the live stream is happening. You will see what's happening if you're in the live stream. Um, Bryce Rodriguez says, South Africa loves you. I love South Africa. South Africa. There is no lag tonight. My, my boy Fernando pointed out, um, yes, during the last live stream, everybody, it's a shame because I gave you guys a little preview of my next challenge uh, last live stream, but uh, the lag slash internet slash everything was not on our side. So we had to, you know, cut it short. We'll just put it that way. I'm going to give you guys a little preface tonight. We're going to be using these tonight. If you guys watched my last little vlog, you will know what these are. Yes, I'm asking you, if you watched my last live stream, if you did not, go watch. No, last vlog. If you watched my last vlog, I feel like I need to think more before I say things. Um, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, very, very interesting. Um, chopsticks, yes. So this is a shout out to Michael, Michelle, Michael. I feel, I feel like you're a girl, so your name can't be Michael. She, she port, who guessed it first. Um, yes, but 
Yes, 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 yes. Um, who else do we have? Sophia tried to eat eggs with chopsticks today. I'm sorry, Sophia, don't ever. You should actually use your hands next time. That'd probably be better. Guys, there's nothing wrong with eating with your hands. Now I got all my cords tangled up. I have two cords, everybody. If you guys want to see my setup right now, so I have my, my laptop right next to my sink. There you guys are right there. Then I have the snowball, but that's connected to there. And then my USB cord for my webcam is connected right there. So these always get freaking tangled up. And it's just annoying and I hate cords. I wish everything was wireless. But then again, you have to pay freaking out the ass for things to be wireless and then something gets fucked up. Anyways, guys, what, what are you all here for? You're here to see what I'm eating tonight. Yes, it's just one plate or stove or what are these called? I can't think right now. Pot. I don't know. Um, yeah, you get it. Of <laughs> Potatoes. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be eating potatoes with my face. Now, everybody, we have... Um, so what I've been doing for the past, like, 30 minutes, if you guys are into photography, you'll know. This is, like, a stock lens for Canon 70D. Um, so I decided to move onto something a little bit more high-end. So I've been filming, like, a little cinematic dinner... Uh, for my next vlog, yes, that is Diet A and W. Um, yes, so that is yes, it is a frying pan. Thank you, Kyla S, for enlightening me on that. Um, so yes, I've been filming like a little new. I, I just guys, I need to I need to put more quality into my videos. I've come to realize that this is going to be me venting for a little bit. I'm not going to vent, but I come to realize that I need to. Uh, Oh, you guys might recognize this position because I film a lot of videos here. But yes, so quantity over quality. I'm just going to put it that way. I feel like that's a pretty uh, cliche thing to say. But quality over quantity. That's a very big belief of mine. Um, I don't want to keep pumping out the same content for you guys because I feel like uh, the more I do... Not only are you guys gonna get fed up with it, but I'm getting fed up with it. So that's why I want to do a lot of like cereal, cereal reviews. I feel like I always say cereal, 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 cereal reviews. Um, but yeah, just different stuff, guys. Uh, invest in a drone and take panoramic shots of where you ride and stuff. I would love to do that, but I don't have anybody to operate the drone besides me. So that wouldn't really work out. Um, that's true. That's true. True, true, true. What else is true? That is true. Truer than true. Why am I saying true so much? Guys, we are just going to get fucked up tonight. I named that yet. Diet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I haven't had root beer in like two days, so I figured why not tonight. Um, what's that dot on your right arm? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> root beer is the best. Ratchet effect, if you pump out more videos, people will come to expect more videos. True, a big thing for, and this is made by, uh, so said by Mr. Wo Willow, um, yeah, so, uh, Willow made a good point. And so quantity is important here, guys. If there's anything that I would give, like, oh, people always ask me for advice on like, what I would say to new YouTubers and everything, people that are looking to get into YouTube, uh, to start off initially, you need to be putting out a lot of videos. I would say once per day, once every other day, if your content is actually good um sorry i did some uh, nourishment there um but yeah so quantity does matter in that sense but it has to be good quantity then once you build your base your platform or whatever then you're good to go um yeah what's my favorite soft soft drink i've always wondered why people call it soft drink my favorite soft drink, 
lately it's been seven up. I'm gonna have to be born tonight, guys. A and W is not my favorite. Um, I need to get a plate, so I'll be right back. I will be right back. You guys can still hear me though. What do, you, uh, what do I want to do tonight? You guys ever face like a little dilemma of like what plate you want to use? That's me right now. That is me right now. I'm just using this one. Holy shit! My freaking camera's been on for like the past like ten minutes. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> um, yeah, but that's just what I think, of course. So I'm gonna stop ranting about that. Um, now, what's about to happen before we get into this? What has been your favorite cheat meal with an apostrophe re, guys? Your, your. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just a pet peeve of mine not to call you out or anything. It's just something that really bugs me. Uh, I don't believe in cheat meals. NYC tacos and sliders look good. They were. Are you bulking or cutting, bro? Uh, I don't believe in cutting or bulking. Uh, I think that's like a thing of the past, to be honest. What's your daily caloric calorie intake? I will refer you, Mr. Brisk Morale, to uh, the mega frequently asked questions Q&A that is in every description of the video, so go check that out. Pizza or cinnamon rolls? I'm getting distracted by questions, guys. Uh, I you, you, you all may have noticed I actually have um, talking points in the description of this video. So the first one I'm going to be talking about tonight is the YouTube drama that's been coming up that I think is very, um, we'll say interesting. Now by YouTube drama, I mean arguing like little girls, like school children. Ooh, damn, it's hot. This came out good tonight, guys. Can you guys guess, if you guys can guess what this is, what type of fish this is, I will give you 100 points from Eric Land. 100 points. That's a lot of damn points, everybody. Ask Sophia. She knows about all about my points, all right? She's already, like, at the top of the points chain, so she couldn't get any more points. Damn. Guys, I just don't know what you're doing with your life if you don't do this with your vegetables. I don't know. I literally... I was thinking about it today. Um, let's see who got it, who got it, who got it. No one's got it yet. No one's got it yet. Damn it, guys. It's not tilapia. It's not cod. It's not soul. I got soul like a soul sister. Halibut? No, not halibut. Oral or anal? Definitely not either of those. <laughs> that would be, be a delicious fish. Let me just tell you right now. That would be a delicious fish. Burn tilapia. Thanks, sir. Um, clean balls. That's definitely not definitely not a fish either. Swai shark. Fuck, I wish I could buy shark. That'd be sick. Why has no one gotten it yet? Just kidding, you guys. It's cod. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why, but I really seriously blanked mentally and didn't see, um, I thought it was, I think it was probably because I had, um, fuck, what did I have? I, what did I have last night? Orange Ruffy, 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 whatever. You guys get it. <laughs> I had it the night before. So I'm like thinking that I had that again tonight. Guys, when you do these, shit just gets all over the place. It's just, it's crazy. Fish sticks. Are you a gay fish? Shout out to that episode in South Park. And then everyone's going to be like, you just used the word gay? <laughs> Mert the Gamer says it's fucking tofu. <laughs> Bruh. Like, how awesome would that be if you were just walking in the supermarket? Who says supermarket anymore? The grocery store. And then you just literally walk past the tofu aisle. And it wasn't like Hoyong Foods that made to tofu. I don't know if that's a real brand. Um, it just said... It's fucking tofu. That would be pretty epic. That would be pretty 
epic, my friends. Pretty epic. Um, I'm really curious as to how I'm going to eat these with chopsticks. I think it's going to work out okay. I just don't know how I'm going to cut into my fish. My pescado. Pescado. Say it with me. Pescado. Pescado, pescado, pescado. And then these. Uh, how much do you bench, bro? Enough. You should put times in the description of your videos where you address different questions. It is difficult to find your answers sometimes because your videos are long. Well, sir, that is how I get money out of you because I make these videos super long. So you have to keep continuously going through them and finding, well, while watching all the ads because I'm, that's just, I'm a money hungry, money whore. I'm just kidding. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm not, not going to continue with that sarcastic remark that I was about to make. Um, I actually do though. Check out the last two live streams ago. I did that. It's just a lot of work because then I got to go through the video and it's just like, eh, eh. uh, Megan Werner says motivation to get back into working out. Depression is kicking my ass. Um, it's hard to get motivation in that sense because motivation, I mean, it depends though. It depends on what kind of depression you're suffering from. If it's like really bad, um, some people don't need to be working out to cure the depression. They need to find other alternative ways. Myself, one of them. Admittedly. By the way, everybody, if you haven't, um, shout out to this Asian medley. These are like $2.49. I don't know why I remember that. So what I do, everybody, I put this here. Believe it or not, you can roast these as well. So while this is in the oven, oh shit, I put my pan on my stove and it burned my cutting board. Whoops! Whoopsie daisies. Can't believe I just said that. Sweet honey, get that shit. How many chicken McNuggets in five minutes would McDonald's or Wendy's says Houston Gaines? Houston Gaines really wants to know. The real answer to that question is I have no idea. No fucking clue. I will say that chicken McNuggets are probably one of the worst. Like if I could think of like, like one of the most horrible foods to eat in large amounts, it would be chicken McNuggets. I'm just going to say that right now. I have to be honest. I'll tell you why in a second. Oh, Mr. Joshua Thomas says, you're frail. Guys, I think Mr. Joshua Thomas needs to know. Actually, Joshua Thomas, what I want you to do is go to Wikipedia. Actually, no, Google Images. Type what you, type the word frail on the Google Images and then get back to me later. Thank you. Come again. Good night. Good night. And good luck, motherfucker. Uh, good night and good luck, bitch. I shall bitch slap you in a second. Oh, gosh. All right. All right, all right. All right. It showed me a picture of you, fam. That's cute. That's cute. I'm entertaining Joshua Thomas' is trolling right now because Joshua Thomas apparently is 12 years old. I love the 12 year olds lately, guys. Uh, fuck me. Fucking hey. I wish I could get this in a better place for you guys and gals. These cords have got to go, everybody. Oh yes, while well, I'm uh, getting my camera, Snapchat me and watch TV at the same time. I have no idea why I put my camera there, but I did. Cause I gotta get my camera, other camera. Way too many cameras right now. Good Lord. All right. Oh, oh uh, feels good to sit down. 
Uh, how long have you been growing your beard? This is a horrible angle. What the fuck is on TV? I have no idea. No clue whatsoever. Only dudes with small cocks sit behind their computer calling people frail for no reason. <laughs> that's uh, that's true, my friend. And that was made by Mr. Uh, Wutard21. Wutard21. Um, digging the beard man, no homo. Watch out, dude. People might call you a uh, homophobe. That was hard for me to say for a second because I couldn't think of the word I was trying to say. Guys, what do we have here? Look at that. Look at that. Look at those potatoes. Sam from Lord of the Rings would be proud. Will cycling impact my vertical jump? I could dunk and I don't want to lose that LOL. No idea. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie, dude, because those guys that do those like box jump things at the gym, I don't like, I don't see any point unless you're a basketball player. I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? No memory card. I love when this happens. I love when this happens. No guys, you aren't being filmed because there's no freaking memory card. Gosh, damn it. Life. First world problems. First world problems. Oh, man. I mean, guys, I have to uh, feature you all because this is this is live stream time. You all are in the latest video. So we have Sophia, world, well, world class teacher bag could have been here. Crystal, uniquely yours, Sigma Looks Coffee. Everybody's tuning in to the chat right now, saying hi, and I'm about to eat potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and some fish with my nifty chopsticks. This is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Ah, oh, man, I'm done entertaining you, Mr. Troll. Goodbye. That's kind of cool, everybody. I like, I don't know, I really like eating with chopsticks. It just, some things are just very hard to eat with chopsticks. Thoughts on CrossFit? I think people knock CrossFit just to not CrossFit. Like, knocking CrossFit is not stupid. In my, it's, it's, it's dumb. There's actually uh, benefits to doing it. I, I think people that are active and are trying to better themselves in any way, fuck yeah, man. Do that. Are they plastic? I find those cheap wooden ones they give you will take out more grippy. With take out more grippy. So these are actually special ones. I bought these in New York at an Asian supermarket. They cost me like 10 bucks. And I was like, you know what? If, if I'm going to bring anything back other than just a tremendous amount of food, it's going to be chopsticks. People are probably going to flame me for my chopstick usage. But since this is happening right now, I have to do this. We're going to be eating potatoes with chopsticks. Potatoes. These are garlic potatoes. Garlic, garlic, and more garlic. It just wants to focus on oh, this. Guys, you're, you're seeing right now, Sophia, I know you can attest to this, trying to get these damn cameras to focus on fucking little minor things. Strong, then it turns off. All right, well, three hours later, we finally get the camera to focus and we're about to eat a potato with chopsticks. I have to say, 
this is a first for me. But I'm eating potatoes with chopsticks. Yum. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Um, do a Chinese food challenge. No, thanks. If there's like one of the worst things to blow you up, it's Chinese food. Yeah, guys, eating this fish is going to have to happen with my hands. Patrick Rucci wants to know, are you sponsored by Cellucor? Do you guys want to answer Patrick's question for him? Um, hola, saludos from Mexico. Como estas, amigo? Kekis 713. 713. <laughs> So, YouTube drama, guys. What do I want to talk about tonight? So, if you guys are, if you guys do follow YouTube Fitness, um, or are just aware of YouTube Fitness, um, you will know that there's been some drama lately. There's always drama, but ooh, Brussels sprouts and barbecue sauce is really good. Basically, Lane Norton and Mr. Jason Blaha. I'll actually see how many people know who I'm talking about right now. If you know who I'm talking about, raise your hand or say, Eric is awesome in the live stream. Chat, so I know who I'm talking about. Or so I know. Do that while I ban somebody. So a lot of people know. A lot of people know. That's good. So I find it very, very, very humorous that this is all happening for probably like the 9,000th time. Lane and Jason have been going at it for what feels like decades. No, I do not mean sexually. And pretty much if you aren't aware of, if you know of them and aren't aware of why they're feuding, I will say, it's basically because, I don't know, call it an ego thing, but they just don't like each other. And it's basically come down to a pissing match. Jason thinks that Lane, both of them are firearm, firearm owners, which is kind of like the funny part about all this. And yes, do this. Dip in barbecue sauce, people, with chopsticks. There we go. It's happening. So they're both firearm owners. Apparently, Lane is like a big firearm owner. Um, no. This is better. Lane is a big firearm owner and believes in his guns, just like I do. I believe in guns. And before 500 people unsubscribe for me for, for saying that, but um, so Lane basically made I, I I don't know I've always thought highly of Lane, and uh, you know he's a smart guy and everything, very very smart guy has awesome training programs and everything, um, but he keeps like returning Jason's rebuttals to everything, and they're arguing is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and. It's honestly, guys, if you want to just watch some high school kids fight, this is this is like the epitome of that. So I'll recommend everybody if you want a good, if you don't want to watch a movie and just want to grab your popcorn and watch a nice little pissing match go take forth, take take place, go watch Lane's la latest video. Um, but YouTube dramas are actually like it's really really funny. How we all say we don't like it. 
But it's literally like watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but then again, it's basically because how else, like, okay, Lane puts out pretty good informative content normally, uh, which, I mean, I admittedly, I don't really think that the, the past, like, I would say a few months have been that great for him. Jason's channel has gone, pew, and... It's like you can't even see the subscriber count on this channel anymore. So I just find it really, really funny. Um, and it's it's sad too because I used to talk to Jason a lot um, a few years ago. Back before he had like all this shit happen to him. Before his, his YouTube channel even got big. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know why I just want to talk about that, but I just find it funny. Um, next thing I kind of wanted to go over. Gosh, my food is already cold. Um, I'm thinking, guys, so I've been eating three big meals a day. I snack a lot in New York. I just found that made me more hungry. Um, but food is just making me so tired lately. And I don't really want to know, or I don't really know why. Um, but it is. I get headaches a lot. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's annoying because I'll like, and I have to like start my train. Like usually, like for example, like I have my like my pre-training meal, and I'll go to the gym. But like I'll just get so tired after that for the rest of the day. Like I have to like the moment I start doing activity is the moment like I start. I don't know. I start waking up really. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. It's just it's kind of it's annoying. But considering just because, um, you know, fasting really isn't that hard. Like. I think people got uh, the wrong impression really when I started talking about intermittent fasting, but like it's not hard to not eat. You know, granted, if you have um, a history of like severe under eating, eating disorders, or anything like that, um, and fast, where where people go wrong with fasting, I feel like is that people have this notion like that they need to like earn their food when they are in their fasting phase and. Um, you know, people then use fasting to just binge eat uh, extremely large amounts of food. So, you know, it's, it's, I think people really go, go wrong with that. But I mean, for the most part, intermittent fasting is, is, I mean, not a horrible thing to do. Um, but, but yeah, so I mean, it's something I've been deba debating lately, but I've been eating consistently like during the day for probably about, I'd say like, probably pushing six months now. Um, and, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's been working well for me. I just hate having these energy crashes. So, um, but Shmurt the gamer says I'm Muslim and I fast during Ramadan. It's not the food that's difficult. It's not being able to drink anything. Yes. I would die if I couldn't drink anything. Literally. Eric buddy let's meet up says Jim hooligan Jim not gonna be a complete dick right now but if you spell my name normally like it's supposed to be spelled with the K maybe it'd be, I'd consider me to meet up with you are you getting enough sleep asks crystal and that's a definite no I'm not um, but that's always stayed the same I've literally always gotten about I'd say maximum six five six hours a night How much caffeine a day? Probably right now. Try to give like an estimation on it. Probably about 100, 150 milligrams.
Um, have you ever tried Quest protein bars? If so, how do you think they taste? Quest protein bars. I'm trying to come up with like a analogy or a metaphor for Quest protein bars in the fitness industry, but I can't. I'm just gonna answer your question honestly. It's gonna be a big one, guys. It was good. Um, yes. My favorite Quest protein bar when I ate them a few years ago was the cinnamon roll flavor. I can't eat these bars, guys, because they literally have so much fiber in them. It fucking blows my mind, seriously. Like 15, like, I don't think 15 grams is, I don't think it's that much, but there's like bars with like 12 grams of fiber in them. I'm like, dude, do you even vegetable, bro? Holy shit. Do you recommend fasted workouts? No, I don't. Well, it depends. If your workouts consist of like 20 minutes of cardio and like 45 minutes of lifting, you're fine. Damn it. Pop tarts or toaster strudels? That can't be a serious question. Pop tarts, come on. Just kidding. That was a troll. Toaster strudels destroy everything. Um, window liquor says I'm looking at you through your window. Hi, hi, window liquor. I don't see you licking my window though. Holy shit! There's somebody licking my. Gotcha. Um, it's time for a five guys challenge. Julian Aiton Yates apparently is going to do a five guys challenge. Let us know how you do, Julie. I personally think that five guys is overrated. What I don't think, or what I do think, is that Brussels sprouts are delicious and nutritious. Oh, I had to throw that one in there, guys. Um, so what I want you guys to do right now, since we're here like usual and I'm eating food in front of you guys, holy shit, Sophia DeVita needs to try in and out That's the first thing you're doing when we come here, by the way. I have probably like five or six in and out gift cards just because my boss sends them to me. Um, anyways, guys. I'm going to be making making the next ride today video. Almost got hit by a car today too, so while going downhill. So it's going to be a very awesome video. Even though it's probably gonna get like a thousand views, it's okay. There's only so many cyclists on my channel. But I want you guys to post any topics that you want me to cover. Not crunch though. Damn. So, what you guys could do, since I haven't already, what the hell is this thing? Are you kidding me? I don't. I brought my phone. My phone's gonna be here. Where's my phone? I'm having separation anxiety right now. I literally just put my phone right here. Where is this fucking thing? That's really creepy. My my stuff keeps disappearing. I am um I'm lost for words right now, guys. Thought I brought my uh. You guys get a view of the globe really quick. Have you tried Philippine food? No. I live in the United States, so therefore. I have not. Um, Snapchat me, everybody, what you guys want me to cover in the next Ride Today video. I might give you a little shout out. Um, the window liquor took my phone. <laughs> Cute. That was actually really good, though. Like, really, really good. 
do the poop sauce, poop sauce challenge. They're yummy. That doesn't sound so yummy. I'm not going to lie. That kind of sounds horrible. What's your Snapchat? Okay. So Jim Hooligan asks what my Snapchat is. Everybody, this is the first time I'm going to answer this question in a non-sarcastic way. Not completely not sarcastic at all. <laughs> my Snapchat is Eric the Electric. Just guys, if you're if you ever watch my live stream and people ask that question, I always act like a sarcastic douchebag. Well, not just with that question, but a few other questions too. But uh, first one is going to be what the fuck is going on on TV? I was having like a mental breakdown. Uh, Tej97 says three Pete with Ben and Jerry's. Michael Sh Shuport says, dang, whoever thought that would be your username. I know, right? It's like not even my Instagram username either. My Facebook instant or my Facebook URL, my YouTube URL. It's like, damn, who is Eric the Electric? Hanan says, I'm going to fail accounting. No, you will not. Bailey Peralt says, it's you, LOL. It literally is me. Mitchell Reynolds, when your power level is over 9,000. That is, that is the face of a champion right there, everybody. Face of a champion. Um, Erica says, live stream. Michael Shimby. Tom, Tom Yum, <laughs> cute, dirty balls. That's actually pretty cool, dude. You got some good drawing skills right there. Sophia says, too dark to snap. Shout out to Sophia. And the last one's going to be from Mert. Mert says, I need sleep. Yes, you do. You need sleep. Um, Yeah. So you guys, we did Snapchats. I can't get this fucking potato, this piece of potato. Come on, come on, there we go. How cold does it get in winter? Can you continue to ride? The coldest it gets, watch it's gonna get like 30 degrees tomorrow. Coldest it usually gets here in San Diego usually in like the low 40s. You should do an entire Indian or Greek food challenge. Doesn't sound too appealing, not gonna lie. I would do a shit ton of hummus though, I love hummus. What's your next challenge? Um, my recommendation, Christina, is to go check out the last live stream. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. So juicy. Shit. That was... The God of your mom jokes telling me that that was not good because I dropped a chopstick. Make a pizza cake challenge. If you guys haven't seen the viral video about pizza cake yet, I'm so sorry because it's fuck. It looks actually really bomb. Um, guys, my next challenge is tomorrow. So what I want you guys to do right now is follow me on my social media. Like I say at the at the end of every freaking video, social media, social media, social media. Because if you guys want to see. Um, me do challenges, you will know because I Snapchat everything because I'm a Snapchat whore now. Hold on. Final rating? Overall rating? 8 out of 10. That no, wasn't even that good. Uh, <laughs> do you believe people are born with the ability to eat large amounts of food or do you have to be a train, train to be a competitive eater? You have to definitely train. To be you have to train your stomach 
just like um, a gymnast has to train their, train their muscles to be able to compete in that gymnastic way that they compete. I don't know. Chipotle or peanut butter? Is that a real question? Fuck Chipotle. Seriously. What is your favorite Halo Top flavor? Your mom. I need to stop. I need to stop, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be walking in the grocery store tomorrow. I'm going to walk past Halo Top, and it's just going to say chocolate, vanilla, cookies and cream, s'mores, red velvet. Your mom, your mother is a Halo Top ice cream flavor. Um, That was really creepy. Um, Favorite Halo Top flavor is probably red velvet. It's really good. Really, really good. Uh, guys, we're going to be doing a rapid fire Q&A starting now. Five minutes, go. You guys got it. Uh, peanut butter or almond butter? Peanut butter for sure. Could you ride fixed gear? Yes, but I ride single speed. Um, what do you think about using kettlebells? I think kettlebells are great for developing strength, but I think that um, if it were me... I would come. I would just use dumbbells, barbells. That's just how I've always done it. So, uh, do your best Morgan Freeman accent with the mic really close. I think it was a good Morgan Freeman movie. Fuck, I can't even think of any Morgan Freeman movies. Are you fluent in Spanish? Si, Ca claro. Estoy muy, muy, muy cansado y enojado con mi esposa para que limpiando mi piso en la casa con las tijeras. <laughs> I think I just said my wife is cleaning the floors with scissors. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, <laughs> any, <bo> <laughs> any body weight workouts you do like to do? Uh, I don't, I just, I never do pushups. Uh, what kind of bike do you have? I have road bikes. What would you do with a million dollars if you only had a day to spend it all? I would buy... Actually, a million dollars doesn't really get you shit anymore. I'd probably buy just a ton of camera shit. What the hell, dude? This is like a bad crash. You are so damn weird, bro. Ha, 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 ha. Cute. Um, Shawshank Redemption. I don't know why that's... Why that's a, even being said, but... I mean, I don't really like that movie, but... Yeah. It's an okay movie. I'm not going to lie. For like the first like half hour. Um, tequila or vodka? Tequila gets you white girl drunk, dude. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Vodka, it depends on the vodka. How's your new Schecter treating you? Is that a blackjack? It is not, it is, it is a Hellraiser C2. I actually have a few Schecters though. I have a Sinister Gates custom. Shout out to my boy, Brian. Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Nothing, because I don't really like Klondikes. <laughs> Cores or Molson? I uh, Cores probably because I have no idea what Morson is. Um Eric, can we see sex sometime? No, you can't. You cannot. Sorry. You cannot. Um. Wow, you totally skipped over the Matt Stoney comp eating question. Which one? Because there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. 
When do you plan on shaving? Ha ha ha. Never. It took me like a fucking month to get to this point, all right? I don't grow facial hair. I don't grow facial facial hair around my face. Pussy eating challenge. Apparently not because I'm just, according to everybody, I'm just gay. Gay. Can't tell you guys. That's like the number one troll comment now is he's, are you gay? Are you a homo? Apparently guys that like to dress up in spandex and ride bikes are gay, apparently. Celebrity crush. Um... Guy, is it wrong to crush on yourself? I mean, <laughs> that was a horrible joke. I'm kidding. I'm not a celebrity. Did you ever play RuneScape? Back in the day when RuneScape was good. Running again someday. Fuck no. Running? After I got back from New York, that was like the only way of me doing cardio. Like the three, ta- three days a week, I was able to do it. I ran. Fuck that shit. I'm never running again. Fuck anything that has to do with running. As you guys can see, I hate running. A lot. Favorite fruit on your shirt. That's a very, that's a great question, Sophia. It's going to have to be. Hmm, shit. I wasn't expecting this one. We're going to go with the watermelon. We're going to go with the ro- watermelon. All right, guys. That has been the Rapid Fire Q&A. Hope you guys liked it. Everybody, as I take my final bite of my fish with good old keto-friendly, sugar-free, paleo barbecue sauce, That was a joke, I promise. What I want you guys to do is ask me any question you'd like. Because at the end of every live stream, I pick one question, give you a nice little shout out, answer to the best of my ability. And I smile. I have a shirt that legit says running sucks. I would really like that shirt. Chicken's looking good. I'm not eating chicken. Are you shaving tomorrow or keeping the beard? Probably going to be keeping the beard. Have you considered opening a P.O. box? I have one, and it's listed at the every... In every video description. Am I the only one that genuinely likes running? Says Megan Warmer, Warner. And yes, you are. Puppies or kittens? <laughs> Neither right now. Do you plan on becoming a competitive eater? <laughs> Good one, dude. Um, so we're going to be picking. Mm. Would you ever mountain bike again? I've never mountain biked. I have, but it was back in the day. <laughs> Mert says, are you gay? Crunchy peanut PJ or smooth? I think you mean peanut butter. Um, how would you spend your last day on earth? That's a very fantastic question. So I would spend my last day on earth I would go it's hard because like normally people would be like, oh, you know, I would, uh, you know, I'd go skydive. I'd go, it's like, if I had my last day on earth, I would do something. Well, it would depend if like I knew the day before was going to be my last day because I'd probably like drive somewhere or I don't know, 
I'd prepare for it. But what I would do is go to my family's house. Um, I would have like my favorite person in the world there. Like, and that's just not like any one of my friends or anything like that. I have like anybody. Um, that's cool. Um, it could involve like a celebrity or something like that, but I have like a gi gigantic party at my parents' house. Um, there would be disgusting amounts of peanut butter, chocolate, um, diet and W, um, shit. What else? You guys get the picture. I would literally do nothing but just dance, have peanut butter, and I would have a gigantic live stream. Seriously, I would though. I would live stream that shit in a second. That's what I would do. Anyways, guys, that has been the live stream for this evening. What I want you all to do, if you haven't already, when this video gets posted, I want you all to suggest uh, what the topic for the next ride today should be on this on this little video in the comments below um everybody hope you guys enjoyed it love you guys stay tuned for the next challenge i may or may not be filming it tomorrow and it's gonna be spicy as shit thanks again for watching the video guys world class what do we say go right bye guys